Hey, what's up you guys? It's Simon. Welcome back to my channel. So first things first, please ignore all the noise in the background of this intro. I totally accidentally deleted the previous intro during the process of filming this video. So I had to make a new one. I am in the process of editing it and my laptop is screaming. <laughs> so anyways, um, today's video is really fun and interesting because I found something really fun and interesting at Target and that is these Mondo Llama alcohol markers. So essentially COVID markers at literal Target. I think these were only $35 and you get 40 markers. So that is literally less than a dollar per marker um, and I'm really excited to uh, start trying these so uh, I guess let's get into that okay so as always one of the things I like to do when I get a new set of markers is swatch them so I am gonna go ahead and do that Okay, so a little whoopsie on my part of it. Looks like the camera at some point decided to stop filming during the swatches, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but here are all of the markers swatched. They're a little wonky looking, um, but I like them anyway. So some first impressions that I've kind of gathered is that I like the color range for the most part. I do really like that there's a good balance of some really bright colors like these blues and this purple and this pink here. Um, but there's also really nice earthy tones like these browns, these mustards, these really like nice warm grays, I think are super pretty. Um, the only thing that I'm really kind of, I don't want to say bothered by, but kind of confused with more like, um, is that there's no yellow, which means that there's no like primary um, palette, I guess you could say. Um, if you look at the markers themselves, there are a, color, a couple of colors that look like they would be yellow. However, as you can see by the swatches, they usually are like um, either the super, super pastel yellow or more on the peach or just like mustardy side, I guess. The closest thing you could get to yellow is this, which honestly, it's not too far off. Um, but again, I just wish there was like a true yellow, I guess, because that's normally something that you always see in sets, regardless of price. So I'm kind of surprised that there's no yellow. Um, but other than that, I really like the color selection. I can already see that there's a few colors here that I think would make a good dupe, I guess, for Copics that I could do a comparison with. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys into the uh, little blending comparison. Okay, so I've managed to find some colors that I think are close enough. As you guys can see, I was immediately able to find a dupe for this color right here because um, V04 is one of my favorite Copic colors. It's like a very nice, just like bright orchid. I think it is really pretty. Um, and then I swatched a couple. It was really hard for me to find one that was close enough, but I finally found this V15. I think it's, yeah, it's mallow. Um, that is, I think, similar enough. I would have liked for it to be a little bit more pastel, um, but I noticed, as you can tell by my swatch chart, it's a little off now because it's like neon pink. I don't know how that hop hopping happened. Definitely gonna have to re-swatch those soon. Um, but I think these are similar enough to the uh, Mondo colors that I think I will be able to do a little comparison. I'm also going to be using the chisel end of my Copics for this just because um, the Mondo brushes do, or brushes, the Mondo markers do not have a brush. Um, they're just the chisel and the fine end. So just to keep things as accurate and um, fair as possible, I am gonna be using the chisel. Okay, so um, Copic color ended up being 
way darker fully swatched than it was in the initial little dot but i think you guys get the idea um i'm sure everybody and their mama knows that copics blend very nicely with each other but these mondo ones i'm very impressed by like that color went down super super smooth um the blending especially considering that these colors are actually pretty different in hue they both have like a pink undertone but one is definitely more desaturated and one is definitely more vibrant um, but they still went into each other really, really nicely. Like, I'm super impressed considering a whole pack of these markers is $35. There's 40 markers here, which means that each marker individually is less than a dollar. So, pretty pleased with that so far. So, final first impressions before we move on to, um, I guess, getting into the illustration that we're going to color. Um, so far, like I said, I'm really impressed. Um, I do have a few nitpicks um, that aren't too um, necessarily important considering, again, the price point of these markers. These are super affordable. Um, but some things I would have liked um, as far as just like things like packaging and overall use goes are some things like the cap tips. So um, these colors are definitely not accurate. As I mentioned to you guys before, you know, like this. This looks like it's going to be a really nice primary yellow, but when swatched, it is this pastel, like pinky peach color. It has a little bit of an undertone, but it most certainly is not yellow um so yeah that's definitely um a major difference i do wish that uh if they were going to include colors on the tips that they would be a bit more accurate or um if anything the uh markers are blank as far as color names go on the top the bottom and all over the um barrel of the marker versus as you can see with like Copics or Huhus, a lot of them will have the color name on the top and bottom of the marker and um, the number of you know the color group on the marker as well um, which is really helpful for like example people who are colorblind who looking at caps like this uh, is it's not really gonna do much for them so yeah definitely something that I would kind of change even if it's just printing like peach on the top of this. I think that would lead to a lot less confusion in the future. Um, I did try to swatch these colors in order to how they're organized in the bag. It's kind of hard to tell, um, but I did try to keep the order so that I can come back to my swatch chart um, in case I need to, uh, to like pick out a certain color. Um, because again, the if I just look at this cap color, <laughs> I'm not going to get the colors that I'm expecting when I'm drawing, which um, is pretty common. Uh, I know if you guys saw my five below uh, alcohol marker review, pretty common for um, alternatives to Copic that are um, on the very like affordable end. Um, like I'm talking not like oh who who affordable, but straight up like I found this at Target <laughs> affordable if that makes sense. So yeah, um, again just a tiny little nitpick. Overall, I'm I'm really impressed with the quality so far. Um, they lay down really nicely. They are very colorful. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am super excited to get into the actual illustration. So I already know what I'm going to be coloring for today. It is this little piece of line art that I did for January's Patreon. Um, the theme was, what was it? I think it was like change or transformation. So um, I did a lot of pieces regarding like butterflies and moths and stuff. Um, this has a little cocoon on it. Um, and I also tried to uh, shift and play with my style a little bit because I thought that would be um, kind of a fun way to interpret, I guess, the theme of the month. So yeah, um, I'm going to get into a speed paint and let you guys know what I think overall as far as the coloring process goes.
Okay, so here you can see our finished completed piece with the Mondo markers. I did go off camera and add some final details in with these colored pencils just because that is how I personally would use them with my Copics as well. Um, I didn't want to uh, just exclusively use the Mondo markers considering that's not what my process would be um, when using Copics, so I didn't feel like it would necessarily be a fair comparison. Comparison. Um, but 99% of this, as you guys saw, is the Mondo markers. I really only added some small details like this blending on the jacket because I didn't really have um, a nice, like, it's, it's a very specific green tone that they give you in this set. It's like a light, um, like bluish green and it is a really, really nice green, but the darker shades um, are not the same, uh, not, yeah undertone I guess so um it was slightly different so I did want to add some shading in with colored pencil and then I just did some quick layering with her hair and her lips um and that's pretty much it overall I am genuinely super super impressed with these markers um I think they are a really great gift um much better than those like huge art sets that people love to give their kids at Christmas with like the really really terrible like markers and pencils and watercolors and stuff like that I would say honestly rather than spending your money on art supplies that are not going to last definitely um get some of these because again they're $35 less than a dollar a marker really really nice colors um really nice quality again as well they're like super super um blendable really really nice I just I'm honestly I'm shocked like literally super super shocked i think these look really really good i think they're really nice um and i would highly highly recommend them i know i personally started using alcohol markers when i was around 11 years old so um had i been 11 and receiving these i definitely would have used the crap out of them like these are genuinely super super nice so yeah okay so hello crow uh that is it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to subscribe and maybe leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of videos you guys want to see on the channel next because being sick really threw me for a loop as far as video ideas go so yeah um if you have anything that you guys want to see now is the time to let me know uh as always i want to give a huge shout out to my patrons elise thompson duran mandy sleeps crew heat created by twins shannon and Deson doodles you guys are the best thank you so much for continuing to support me every single month if you want to give a shout out alongside these awesome people as well as super cool rewards like digital downloads uh early access to prints and stickers things like that you can check out the patreon it'll be linked down below alongside all my other social media as always i love you guys so so much and i'll see y'all in the next one bye